You remind me of misogyny and hip hop. I should ask questions, but I'm having too much fun to stop. We indulge in laughs I'm not sure I should be a part of. And the more we drink, the less thinly veiled our insults at our friends, our love lives and ourselves. But so what? Doing things I don't usually do doesn't mean I can't do them. And you're pretty when you're mean. Recently, it's like everything you do is pretty to me. Drink more, pass last call, cast out, tube shut, walk more. I don't feel pretty when we wake up. After another night, not being able to get it up. I don't know why. It's different. I don't know why it's different. The moment the lights are off and your eyes are shut and it's time to start, the most vital part of my body can't. In the middle of the rhythm and everything stops. Like my mouth that doesn't sing words sung in my favourite songs. I was 11 when I bought the album Warriors by M.O.P. Mum thought it was odd that there'd be a group called Mop. <laughs> <laughs> it was purchased on the strength of their single Anti Up. Anti Up. It had a music video of both the white biker gang and black men in Averex jackets at an MOP gig having fun. It was towny and grungy, united as one. Wish I could bring Pum back. Track one, titled Intro. Someone I don't know tells me it's strictly for real. Mm. Mm. Alright. And it's definitely not for fake. <laughs> and he apologises for all of the fake, all of the fake, and if, and if you've bought the CD and are a fake, then you should just turn the CD off and get the fuck out of the room. <laughs> the album was prematurely cut short due to me turning my Walkman off. I was scared that if I carried on listening to it, I was pretending to be someone I'm not. Day interrupts. Overcast and as harsh as the reminder that what we had is in the past. We don't talk or acknowledge what we did. I leave the room. You get dressed. So many times we've done this and I'm still embarrassed. Another moment of our friendship with benefits not benefiting our friendship. I put the kettle on. You're standing by the door. You say you'll see me at so-and-so's for so-and-so, so-and-so tonight. You give a smile to the ground before leaving me with a brief hug. The kettle boils. My head's dense. I pour the water over my face but would rather a tea. Need to speak but throat is in feet. This morning my knees are a different type of weak. Recently it's like everything you do is making me weak. Sex with you reminds me of the n-word in rap music. <laughs> it's not like I don't want to participate but my body tells the truth that I can't say. If I could, I will dance to your tune but I know what it means to you. A medicine to hold back the day-to-day -day numbness. That very tool you use for distance is what I see as the pinnacle of being intimate. You listen to the same songs he left you with. While I download five new mixtapes every week from that piff. When everything but rap reminded me of my broken heart. Music for you was a time machine to two years ago. A place you could go to where he wasn't gone. These different paths we've taken to mend us have sent us waywards. And now we've wound up in the same place with you unable to show love to me and me unable to make love to you. We haven't enough of our own hearts with us, trying to get over being leftovers with sleepovers, drinking to our former lovers who left us, but come the last call it's each other we're drawn towards. Making this worse before we admit we spent years not knowing how to make heartbreak work. Still, we're working on something even if it's taking casual fucking and fucking it up beyond recognition. Not since maths have I learned this, not since maths have I attended the same lesson I haven't learned from, hmm. only this feels like it's worth taking part in. <laughs> Recently, my favorite songs have been made for Texas strip clubs and can make a distinction between smoking spliffs and blunts. They tell stories about driving in your car with a Glock on your arm because you own what people want and you're prepared to do harm. I don't know why this music makes me peaceful. Maybe it's because these goals for happiness are so simple. I don't know what I'm meant to feel. Tonight I'm trying to meet you. The pub is full of people and speakers blast Maroon 5. The crowd could be see-through as I use your laugh as a guide. 9.30 I've come round, brush past shoulders in search of a smile. Our corner of mutual friends, you ask how I've been. Tell me it's been a while. Because when we're not alone, this is a life where there was no last night. 
I get it. Alright. We drink our way to a mate's place, you put stone nuts on play. I'm silent when everyone else agrees hip hop died with Dilla. My protest is an offer of a new artist I've recently fallen in love with, a Meridian Mississippi rapper called Big Crit. I love him. He raps about missing his grandmother, driving his father's car, and being rich in a way only a person with no money can. I get as much as a yes as I need to put him on and do so. Putting the room in a concentrated silence. My head beats with eyes on you giving a look that makes it clear I care what you think. I don't count on eye contact or you seeing me in another moment of open vulnerability. You know that if you give me any feelings of camaraderie, I can imagine that outside our world of closed eyes and no lights, we could have something. You announce it sounds like the same old rap shit. And why are we listening to a song about a fucking car? The call for rejection aids the friends looking for help in forming an opinion. All inside the time it takes for my head to drop, speakers start singing common, there's a little laugh and someone asks what outcasts have gone. I couldn't give a fuck. Recently it's like all I can do is not give a fuck. It took me years to realise what it was that had me drawn to MOP. That I loved them, not for what they said, but because they said what they wanted with no regards to what anyone thought. In time to music that screamed as loud as they did, criticised for lack of meaning, but whatever they did say, it can't be argued, they didn't mean it. Born with nothing, asking for nothing, taking everything. When younger, those displays of such aggressive freedom had me thinking I wanted to say what they were saying. That's what had so many of my mates blind. They were screaming hip-hop's truth. Hip-hop was inspiring me to say mine. The moon is big. It's like a really big moon. <laughs> it's a perfect circle and it looks like a moon. I can't think of anything else a moon looks like. I'm walking home tonight and I'm thinking of you and I'm getting texts from you and I don't know what to do and I'm crying in time to my heartbeat and with every breath a new tear touches my cheek I don't know if I'm crying because you can't commit or because you don't like big crit but I'm crying and feel better for it you know, right, it's therapeutic I can't win with you but I can forfeit might need to forfeit from love for a bit I'm gonna put on some absol and just dance for a bit I need to be alone for a bit just need to dance for a bit Cool, thank you. Yeah. 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 Can we talk while I'm sitting down? <laughs>